So for those who are not familiar with this kind of writing, this is Arabic, Farsi. There's a lot of confusion about the sign mm. because to us they look all the same. But I'm sure actually it is uh, Farsi, Arabic uh, uh, at the same time because uh, they uh, they have the same vocabulary. Farsi, Arabic, Kurdish, all of the languages from the region, uh, many of them have the same lettering. So, uh, and it is not a legible text, uh, what I am doing here. It is uh, just writing, going with the rhythm of uh, the word. Is it calligraphy? Can we relate uh, it to calligraphy? It is uh, connected to the tradition of calligraphy, but it is not calligraphy because calligraphy is always connected to uh, um, expressing a content. It must be a text. Yeah, it is uh, just the rhythm of writing. It is something between pattern, ornament, and the memory of a language. You can recognize it, it, it must be a language, it must be a script, but even if you know Farsi or Arabic, you cannot read it as a text, it's illegible. It is just, uh, you can just recognize words. If I uh, try to read that, it would be something like uh, This is... Or Twitter is also not... <laughs> yes, it is just uh, just a melody. <laughs> Can we call it a drawing? It is a drawing. It is a drawing. Rather than a text. It is a. Uh, it is in between, and I think for me the work is very much connected with my experience as an immigrant. If you come to another country, you learn another language. Uh, your mother tongue loses its everyday function. It becomes more and more like a memory, like a pattern. And that is somehow showing this ambiguity between loss and liberty of becoming something different, opening space for another kind of perceptions and uh, experiences.